coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. UAVOS introduces new VTOL UAV. India test flies Rustum 2 UAV. And SW4 Solo, optionally piloted helicopter, performs first autonomous flight. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. UAVOS Incorporated has introduced the Surveyor H Unmanned Aerial System with UVH 290E Drone Vertical Takeoff and Landing. In the tractor modification, the new unmanned helicopter has a takeoff weight of 192 pounds. The multi-purpose unmanned UVH-290E helicopter is the newest modification of UAVOS helicopters with a gasoline rotary engine. The UAV has a flying range of 249 miles, a practical ceiling of 6,800 feet, and a flight time of 5 hours with a payload of 11 pounds. A target payload with a 4K day camera, thermal camera, and laser rangefinder are designed for the new helicopter. The gyro stabilized suspension weighs 81 pounds, and its gimbal includes a computer for processing video on board, capturing and tracking targets, recording data, and automatic guidance. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. A demonstration of NASA's UAS traffic management technologies has been scheduled for March 8th at Reno Stead Airport in Nevada. The flight demonstration called UTM Technology Capability Level 3 will focus on flying small and large remotely operated aircraft or drones in various NASA communication, navigation, and surveillance and drone detection scenarios. For the first time, Nevada is unveiling an innovative unmanned traffic management drone detection capability with participation of the top global drone detection companies. Drones have become part of the Grand Forks County Sheriff's Department toolkit, giving officers trained in their operation the ability to take them out on patrol. A Sheriff's Department news release indicates that the Northeast Region Unmanned Aircraft Systems Unit can operate their aircraft anywhere in the country. The sector added two drones to their fleet, bringing their total number to four. Procedures also changed so that the drones could be with the trained officers and patrol cars, rather than being dispatched to officers by request. The Vermont House has a bill under consideration that would restrict the use of UAVs near the state's correctional facilities. According to Vermont Department of Corrections Deputy Commissioner Mike Touchette, the law, if passed, could help prevent drones from being used to deliver contraband items into prisons, as well as limiting observation of prison security practices. According to a recent ASD Reports publication, UAVs now have a wider range of applications in different commercial and non-commercial sectors. Their recent market intelligence report, Global Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Market Value and Volume, Analysis and Forecast, noted that the global UAV market accounted for a market value of $8.02 billion in 2016, with small UAVs holding the highest share. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. India's Defense Research and Development Organization has successfully test-flown its Rustum-2 drone, which is described as a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV. The Rustum-2 is being designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. It should be able to loiter at about 22,000 feet for 24 hours, according to government officials. The DRDO said it successfully flew its Rustum-2 today at its aeronautical test range at Chalakire at Chittadurg. This flight assumes significance due to the fact that this is the first in user configuration with higher power engine. The agency said that the aircraft operated within its design parameters. The Rustum-2 is designed to carry a variety of payloads, including synthetic aperture radar, electronic intelligence systems, and situational awareness technology. 
The UAV has been designed and developed by Aeronautical Development Establishment of the DRDO. An aerospace major, Hindustan Aeronautics Ltd. and Bharat Electronics are its production partners. The SW-4 Solo, optionally piloted helicopter, developed by Leonardo Company, has successfully completed its maiden flight, with no safety pilot on board, at Taranto Gratitalia Airport. The aircraft flew for 45 minutes and all systems performed as expected, with excellent controllability and handling qualities. Tests included, among others, remote engine startup and shutdown with ground run, automatic takeoff and landing, hovering out of ground effect, and acceleration to forward flight, automatic waypoint navigation to and from the area of operation, and simulation of a surveillance mission. The aircraft reached an altitude of 15,000 feet and up to 60 knots airspeed during the flight. Alessandro Profuma, Leonardo CEO, said this latest achievement provides further evidence of Leonardo's leading role in Europe in developing unmanned air systems, a sector in which we're committed to expanding our already significant presence. Test campaigns have been held in Grotulie with a pilot on board since December 2016, combined with various trails in Poland in order to verify the aircraft's operational characteristics and validate flight procedures in both normal and emergency conditions. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.